Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology front wheel drive turbo. This particular one is deep black pearl effect on the exterior with Titan black leatherette on the interior. It features keyless entry on all four doors, LED headlights, LED turn signals and reverse lights on the rear, an illuminated front logo right there and an LED light bar across the top. That much more aggressive looking front end now on the Atlas black roof rails, silver window sills, 20 inch machine black and silver alloy wheels, black cladding at the base of the doors. It also continues into the bumper right there. And then you also have this nice deep bowl line down the side under the wheel or, or out of the wheel arches, under the door handles and into the uh, tail light back here at the back. Rear wiper standard. You also have some uh, spoiler flare on the sides there. Uh, two faux exhaust tips down at the base of the bumper there, right beside, beneath the under the oversized uh, reflector right here. A 5,000 pound tow hitch right there with a seven pin adapter included right there. It says Atlas right beneath the rear illuminated logo there. An LED tail light that continues all the way up to the illuminated logo on both sides. It says SE off to the left. If this was all wheel drive, it would say four motion off to the right right there. Let's take a look inside. Here's a look at the wood grain interior right here around the door handles around here. You do also have leatherette here and perforated leatherette below that separated by a contrast stitch. The arm pad is also leatherette right here with a contrast stitch as well. There's a bottom to the cup or to the door handle right here. So now you have storage in here bottle and cup storage down in the door panel right here and then there is a power lift gate you just lift up on that guy to open the rear hatch and then you also lift up and, and hold to close that hatch so you've got contactless pickup right here from the driver's seat stainless steel scuff plate right here power lumbar forward and back seat back adjust up down forward and back here and seat back i'm sorry seat back adjust is this one and this one does up down forward and back here for seat adjustments Double contrast stitch down the side of the bolster here, continues up just behind the shoulders here. Diamond stitching on the seat here. Uh, this is leatherette, but it looks really, really nice, really durable here. These are also heated and ventilated seats. That's now standard in all atlases, even the cross sport. So a double contrast stitch on the manually, manually adjusted headrest right here with the button on the side, nice and squishy there. And then you also have the arm pad right here or arm rest. It has a double contrast stitch on it. There's a look at the captain's chair set up in this one. As we climb in here, here's a look at your digital cockpit right up front here. Multiple screen views here. Uh, you, by hitting the view button here where my thumb is, you can change it from this one to the square blocks with the adaptive cruise control uh, animation there. And then you have square blocks with that one as well. And then you're back to the circles here. With the one with the circles, when it shows date and time, you can arrow up or down to change between that and speed, driving data, or blank, or back to date and time there. So double stack vents on the left side and the far right side over there. The wood grain continues across the dash here and behind the infotainment screen here. Uh, there's two vents down below the infotainment screen right here. And then there is your infotainment screen. It's a 12 inch screen right there. Everything's done through touchscreen here. No knobs or, or buttons there, just touchscreen. So you do also have gesture control across here. So you can wave your hand across the front there and it'll, it'll toggle between these three pages. Once you get all the way to the left, you gotta go back to the right. That's how you know where you're at here with these, these three little cubes down here. Actually, I just touched right there. Quick mute is right here. So you just swipe from left to right uh, to mute. Uh, you do have uh, usability here with these buttons here, or these little sliders here. They are not backlit but they are just uh, sliders for volume, sliders for temperature here. So I can actually swipe from red to, to blue to go cooler on the temperature as well. Um, and then also, um, this is where my backup camera shows up. The square is my home button here, just like on your cell phone, it takes you home and it'll toggle between that screen and this screen here. On this screen here, you'll see it says starting navigation. This car does not come with navigation, that is a software default. So touch and hold right here, that brings up the trash can. You can delete this tile and use one of these other tiles here, but I'll leave that for the first owner. This car is sold. 
there's the sold tag for it. Uh, we sold it before it was actually PDI'd. So uh, once it's PDI, it was just got PDI'd and I'm making a video of it before they pick it up this afternoon. Your auto start stop right here. You can turn it on right there. You can toggle through the screen here. There's your tire pressure and there is your oil level right there. So uh, we'll make sure we uh, uh, have that tire pressure set correctly there. Um, but I wanted to make a video of the car before it was gone, so I snagged it from the guy before he got the tire pressures checked there. Um, climate control right here on the screen. There's your heated seat. There's your ventilated seat. Ventilated seat, heated seat on the passenger side. To turn it on, you just tap once. That's high, then medium, then low, then off. And then same with the heated seat. High, medium, low, and then off. Your fan speed is adjusted right here in the middle. And the vents are not open all the way, so it just made a weird noise. So with the vents closed, it'll do that. Whoops. There we go. And I'm going to actually turn that temperature down because it's blowing hot air out of there. Um, I don't need it to warm up to 72. So there's your vent setups there. And over here as well. And make sure those are all open there. And the whistle's gone. So there's a quick tutorial on how to fix the whistle. Okay. So, um... Let's see here. You also have air care. Air care is your air filtration system. So by activating that, there's a blue line here that expands and it shows its progress there. What it does is it scrub, scrubs the air before it circulates through the cabin. So there you, you don't smell things outside like skunks, roadkill, stinky landfills, uh, chemical plants, things like that. You're not going to smell it from outside the car into the car. You can also speak to the car. Hello, Volkswagen. My feet are hot. cooling your feet in the front so now it's cooling my feet in the front very cool i can go back to the climate control smart climate there is the tile there for cool feet and it will show the progress this little black line will take over this blue line here to show the progress and when it's almost done uh, you have fresh air quick cooling warm hands warm feet clear view so you remember you can speak to the car you also have gesture control to go down like this and up like that uh going down uh, let's see here it it's a little temperamental because I'm making a video I'm just gonna swipe down but you can do bright or dark change it to dark I'll leave it on bright for the first owner so they can do that themselves but I'm gonna X out of that I'm gonna go back to cool feet and I'm gonna kill that because I don't need my feet cooled right now lots of visibility out the front here there's a speaker right here auto dimming home link mirror right here with three door garage door memory buttons right here and a digital compass there there's a vanity mirror on each side with an led light above on each side you do also have a light gray headliner here now this one does not have the panoramic sunroof uh a sunroof adds twelve hundred dollars to the price uh this is the first trim where you can add a sunroof you can also add black wheels and you can also add captain's chairs voila this one has captain's chairs Passenger seat over here is completely manual. There's a loop right here to slide the seat forward and back. Over on the far right side, there are two handles here. The back handle is a pumping fashion up or down to raise and lower your seat. The front seat, uh, front handle adjusts the seat back pitch. So that's how you adjust your seat back. Over here in the glove box, manuals are right there. Tire warranties underneath that right there. You do also have um, storage in here this arm pad here there's a USB-C connection right here that's backlit so you can see it at night also the storage in this little compartment right here here's a look at the key fob the Volkswagen logo on it right here and then you also have unlock lock I'm sorry lock up at the top and then the trunk release or hatch release in the middle there or also trunk unlock uh, and then there's your remote start and then your panic alarm right there the shifter is different now for 2024 it handles reverse neutral drive and sport park is a button right here and then you also have uh, your start stop button right there then there's your e-brake you push down on it to release with your foot on the brake there's charging right here just push up on the trap door here there's your wireless charging pad there it'll charge your phone in the case as long as you don't have a pop socket or something on the back there most outer box cases it'll still work on as well two more USB C's that are backlit here so you can see them at night with storage on this side and that trap door just closes out of your way up on the side of the mirror is another USB-C right there for a dash cam. You'll have that. Capacitive touch for both dome lights up top. Just tap to turn on, tap to turn off. Uh, there is your dome light shut off where you don't have any lights at all when you open and unlock or open the doors. 
And then this one here is your airbag light. There's your information button right there and roadside assistance there and SOS is your emergency services. Bluetooth speakers are right here. Uh, now let's take a look at the back seat. There's a look at the wheels right there. This one comes in at 45, 246. Extras on this one include 695 for captain's chairs, 405 for, auto, for the uh, auto dimming home link mirror, uh, 346 for cargo mats or rubber mats, the rubber mat kit, 275 for a third year prepaid maintenance, 1425 for destination, brings you to 45, 246. Open up the back door here, more wood grain back here around the door handle. Perforated leatherette down here with leatherette at the top, contrast stitch in between. Same with the arm pad down here, contrast stitch at the base of it with leatherette arm pad here, bottoms to the door handles here, and three separate compartments for storage right there. Sunshade built in to the door right there. That's on all SE Tech and above Atlas and Atlas Crossport. Here's a look at your seats here. Diamond stitching on the captain's seats as well. These seats are not heated or ventilated back here. They're just regular captain's chair seats. The handle right here to lift up to put customers or uh, cust customers if you're an Uber, put uh, passengers in the back seats. Those headrests flick up like the flick of a, with the flick of a wrist there. And then a the handle you just lift up on and slide back. There's a bar underneath to lift up and slide that seat back. A fold away armrest right here. And this button here adjusts where that armrest stops at. So you can push that up out of the way. This handle here also reclines the seat here. As you look right here, pockets for storage on both seats there, map pockets. You can store phones in there as well if they're charging. There's a look at your instrument cluster, center console right there, and uh, the armrest there as well. Back here behind the armrest, the vents back here for your rear passengers. I'm going to turn that temperature down a little bit there. Um, you have access to the fan speed and also temperature back here, which can be locked out up front. Two USB-C's right here that are backlit and a three-prong plug-in right there. Plug in a laptop so you can charge on your trip. I'm wearing boring little polka dot socks today. Uh, here's a look up. Capacitive touch for the dome lights here. They're not going to turn on and off because I have this door open here. Uh, there's that wood grain in the door panel there. Sunshades in that window as well. There's a look at your back seats. They're also diamond stitched leatherette there too. And they fold completely flat. Seat belt clips off to each side there. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. There's another look at that wheel right there. Back here at the back between the T and the L, just squeeze right there, that opens up the hatch. Here's a look in from the back. This is a dedicated six seater right here. So uh, these seats, again, fold down. The second row seats and the third row seats all fold flat, still reinforcing plates in all four of these seats. So in the event of a crash, cargo back here, does not hit the seat here or injure people in the seats. It keeps the cargo kind of contained to the back. Uh, also, these seats do fold flat just like that. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. It's usually pretty easy. They fold flat right there. Those seats will be flat as well. There will be a gap in the middle when you get captain's chairs. If you get a bench seat, that's completely flat all the way across. There are Right, there is a 12 volt charger port right there. There are two USB-C connections right there. More storage in the arm, uh, uh, the armrest section here on each side of the back seats. There's a bag hook right here. And also a recessed trunk light on either side. Cargo mats, I'm sorry, monster mats. Cargo blocks right here, cargo protection system. And underneath the floor here, if you lift up with the handle here, there's a storage tray right here. This is a removable storage tray. You pull that pin and unscrew that guy right there. Lift out the storage tray. And you have a spare tire underneath. There's a look at the C-pillar vents there. I almost forgot those on both sides right there. And then your, your vents for the middle row right there. The button to close the hatch is right here. This car comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes three years of included maintenance on this particular model. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you an additional three years of free maintenance. That is a local deal only, though. You'll have to come to my dealership to redeem those other three. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles, nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in this car, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Also, 
This car is sold, so you can't get this one, but I can get you another one like it. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.